If your personal best for one of Jamie's 30 minute meals is more like an hour and a half, then maybe you should consider slow cooking. Now slow cooking is a great hands off technique because you can prepare everything in advance and then you can just chill out all day before your friends arrive and it'll be ready for you. Now with that in mind, I'm going to cook these puppies. Now they're not exactly puppies, they're lamb shanks and to be fair, they don't look that great right now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown them off and when we put them with our butter bean cassoulet, they are gonna knock the socks off your friends. Now, the first thing you need to do is just get a bowl with some corn flour. Now I've seasoned this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're just gonna put our lamb shanks into there. And I'm just gonna mix them around. And I'm just gonna coat them in that flour. Now, there's a few reasons for this. One is because when I'm gonna brown them off in the pan with some oil, it's gonna help them brown off more quickly. And secondly, the, uh, the corn flour is just going to help thicken the sauce later as well. So, got them nice and coated, and then we just need to put them into a heavy bottom saucepan. You can nick your mum's cassoulet dish if you want to. And we're just going to brown them off for a couple of minutes. Right. Once you've got them browned off, you just got to put them to the side, and we're just going to keep them here whilst we cook up some onion. I've got one onion, a medium onion. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic and I've got one medium carrot as well. And we're just gonna put them straight into the same pan that we used before. It doesn't matter because it's got all of those flavors. It's all gonna infuse. And we're just gonna cook this down on a medium heat until the onions and the carrot, smells great, until they all go translucent. One thing you can't forget which I almost did, so that we need a stick of celery as well. Now, all you need to do is just cut off the ends like so, and then we're just gonna split it in three, Ooh, mind your fingers, and then just cut it like that, nice and rough. It's a really, really rustic dish, so you don't need to worry about how all of this looks because frankly it just adds texture and it just makes it, it's just the way it should be, this is cassoulet so you should feel like you're eating something in Provence. The next thing that we need to put in is our lardons. Now to you and me, lardons are just bacon bits basically. And we're just going to cook them down a little bit with the rest of the ingredients. Just a cheeky glass of white wine. Now it doesn't have to be anything expensive, just some bog standard wine. Um, it's going to add a great flavour. Now, you want to put it in there first because you want to bubble off some of the alcohol, which is a little bit harsh, um, before you add in the rest of the ingredients. In with a good squidge of tomato puree, give it a good stir. You know, the thing that I really love about this dish is that lamb shanks are typically considered quite a cheap cut of meat, but it's pretty much always the case that the cheap cuts, I think, taste the best. Now, it's quite lean, it's that part of the lamb's leg at the upper part, but if you cook it down long enough, then it becomes really tender and really flavoursome. If you were in a top restaurant like the Fat Duck, for instance, then they would use that slow cooking technique, which they call sous vide, or essentially boil in a bag. Um, and they would actually cook it really slowly, maybe for a day, maybe for even longer. We're gonna cook it for a couple of hours, but trust me, the depth of flavour is absolutely incredible. Now, next thing I'm going to add in is 250 millilitres of chicken stock, like so. If you want to take the time to create your own chicken stock in advance, you can. If you want to use a stock cube, you can do that too. Next thing I'm going to put in is some pearl barley, a little handful of pearl barley. Give that a mix. And then I'm going to add in some butter beans. This makes up like the bulk of our cassoulet. I'm going to add in half a can of butter beans. Half of them now. I'm going to save the rest for later and you'll see why in a bit. And that, with some thyme, almost makes the basis of our cassoulet. Let's stick that in. So some thyme in there. A couple of sprigs of rosemary as well, straight in the pan. And then I'm just going to add back in our lamb shanks, which are here, nicely browned off. And then what we're going to do is get a lid. And I'm going to slow cook this, like I said, in the oven on 120 
We're going to come back to it in about an hour and a half. Okay, the one disadvantage I didn't tell you about slow cooking is that you have to smell your cassoulet cooking for an hour and a half. And if you're anything like me, your stomach is probably cannibalizing itself by now because you are so hungry. But don't worry because we're on the final straight. Now the next thing is our Toulouse sausages. And we're gonna cut these up and we're gonna cook them off in a little bit of olive oil in our frying pan before we put them into the cassoulet. Now the reason that I didn't put them into the cassoulet earlier is because if I did they would really break up and you probably wouldn't actually be able to see them. So again, same as before, just cutting them into rustic chunks like that. Four pieces each sausage, and that's it. Stick them in the frying pan, and then we're just going to brown those. Right, while we're doing that, we are going to get our cassoulet out of the oven, see how it's doing. And it smells incredible, you can smell the herbs. It smells awesome, right? Come and check it out. Ta da! Okay, so it smells awesome. And I think it's pretty much almost there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the other half of the butter beans. The reason why I'm doing it now is because the first butter beans that went in, they've got really soft now, they're kind of breaking up in the sauce, but these ones are going to stay a bit harder, so it'll give it a little bit more texture. So we'll put those in, give them a good stir, get them into the sauce. And now, give those a stir. What we need to do is just give this a little taste, and it's great, but it needs a little bit of salt <clears throat> and a little bit of pepper. Right, next thing I'm going to do is stick my sausages in the oven. All right, cheeky. Put them all in the uh, pan like that, give them a little stir around, and then it's going to be lid back on. And that is going to go back in the oven, same temperature, 120, half an hour, go and slip into something a little less comfortable and when you come back it's going to be done. Right, the good news is that serving this up is pretty much as easy as it was to make in the first place. Now take the lid off, all you're going to do is put the lamb shanks just rest on the side, like that, and then get yourself a plate and we're just going to spoon some of the cassoulet into the middle. It smells absolutely incredible. Right, lamb shank just in the middle, like that. And then we're just going to garnish it a little bit with some thyme. Just a little sprig, like that. And you're done. That is your finished butter bean cassoulet with slow cooked lamb shanks and bon appetit.